Off the coast of Qatar, there are a number of coral sites that are currently under both natural and man-made pressures. These waters are already considered a harsh natural marine environment where corals are pushed to the limits of their tolerance levels due to high salinity, wide-ranging fluctuations in high and low temperatures and increasing amounts of sedimentation in the water layers due to large-scale developments. As part of its environmental management program, Dolphin Energy has contributed to an extensive variety of conservation initiatives, including a three-year coral reef mapping project in Qatari and UAE waters. The Coral Growth Study is one initiative amongst many that we have undertaken at Dolphin Energy to protect the environment to now and in the future. This particular study involves measurements, involves deployment of uh, growth systems, involves uh, protection of existing uh, coral reef. Aware of the fragility of the marine environment in which they operate, it is in Ras Lafan city on the northeast coast of Qatar where Dolphin Energy has commenced its pioneering study of coral reef rejuvenation in 2007. Uh, the measurements in this scientific study will provide significant and important data on coral growth in the southern Gulf, I think. It will be of value to uh, Qatar, UAE and other uh, countries, but it will provide data which will be re relevant internationally. We are very pleased at Dolphin to be supporting this uh, effort. Working in collaboration with Qatar's Qatar Gas, they have begun a pioneering project to regenerate and study coral growth through the use of revolutionary eco-reef technology. The unique eco-reef technology is being installed by Continental Shelf Associates International, CSA. Developed by EcoReefs Incorporated, coral experts from the United States, the EcoReef design successfully replicates complex reef habitats using ceramic modules that mimic natural branching corals. In collaboration with Qatar's Supreme Council for the Environment and Natural Reserves, CENER, and Raslafan Industrial City, RLC, Environment Department. Information from the artificial reef will provide valuable insights as to how important resources such as coral can be protected and sustained into the future. The Eco Reef will help contribute sensitively and positively to the marine environment, which in these times of environmental change is coming under increasing pressure and degradation. By using a technology that replicates natural branching corals, a new safe haven is created for a variety of marine life. The unglazed ceramic material of the eco reefs provide a rough surface that will optimize colonization by a wide variety of species, firstly algae, and later assist the recruitment of young corals to attach and grow, forming the foundation of a new rejuvenated reef ecosystem. The Arabian Gulf experiences one of the greatest water temperature variations anywhere on Earth, with a sea temperature variation exceeding 20 degrees between winter and summer. These extreme temperature variations have been exaggerated in recent years by weather anomalies such as El Nino, causing added stress and degradation to corals on Qatar's coastline. But despite their high resilience to these temperature anomalies, the Gulf has suffered extensive coral mortality. These eco-reefs will help resuscitate the natural marine environment as it adapts to the changing climate. After a collaborative three-year coral reef survey, Dolphin Energy realized the need to protect the Gulf's degraded coral reefs and to mitigate wherever possible against further impact on the marine environment. With this policy in mind, Dolphin Energy carefully selected its marine gas pipeline route to avoid sensitive coral areas as much as possible.
Two 36-inch subsea pipelines transport gas and associated petroleum liquids from Dolphin's offshore platforms into its onshore processing facility at Raslavan City. A third, larger, 48-inch pipeline then transports the processed sales gas from Raslavan to the UAE.